Thank you, Mr. Mason. Thank you. Well, today we have a little DKW Auto Union three cylinder, two cycle engine block on our CNC mill, and we're going to bore this thing out. I'm going to show you how it's done. I think, as you can see here, the program is fairly simple. Uh, we're going to do a drill operation. We're going to wrap it down to minus 11, then we're going to go all the way down to minus 190. 475 RPM, 75 millimeter feed rate, and one tool. Our next location is 95.2 over 1, minus 11, minus 190, and off we go. And there's our third location, is 190.2, minus 1.8, minus 11, minus 190, and same same. So, here we go. This is uh, one of these engines that was manufactured back in the uh, 50s, late 50s. And uh, they didn't bring too many of them over here to the States, but we do have a few. Kind of an interesting little car with a three cylinder and a two cycle uh, engine. Kind of similar to the Saab 93 and the Saab Sonnet, the early ones. Kind of a deep hole, but as you can kind of see, our little piston is pretty long on the side here. These windows are to promote the uh, fuel to go in. The hardest part you're going to find about boring engines on the CNC mill is to actually find your bore center. And it's not that difficult because you deal with the coaxial indicator. But it does take some time to do, on at least on the first one. And on blocks like this, they're kind of weird because they uh, don't have any way to locate uh, them to the table. So we have to fiddle around with the thing to get it lined up. But all in all, it works out well.
off to the hoon and then off to the cleaning machine and this will be ready to go. John Coach to Mace R&D, we'll see you soon.